Hello, welcome back once again. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you, introducing our GD topic. Here, I will be talking about the different techniques that one should keep in mind while introducing a group discussion topic. So let me take you to the roadmap of my presentation. So first, I'll be dealing with the need of introducing a GD topic. Second, I'll talk about the technique. And third, I'll share with you certain examples. So let me take you to the first topic that is the need of introducing a GD topic. It is necessary to introduce a GD topic because we want to familiarize the other members about the topic. So it might there might be a situation where we can imagine that the group members may not be aware of the topic. So if we familiarize then as a leader, we are giving opportunity to the other members to be a part of the discussion rather than I so let them from the group discussion. Next point is that every, when we start with the group discussion topic, we are actually initiating the group discussion. So we are becoming the leader or we play the role of a leader. Um, and as a result, you know, we uh, actually allow the other members, you know, to encourage the other members or motivate the other members to be a part of the group discussion. Third point is we also tend to grab attention of not only the other members, but also the evaluators who are evaluating us, you know, not only from the perspective of the content, but also from the perspective of leadership qualities. And lastly, I would say that we create an impression with the group members as well as the evaluators about the content that we are sharing, about the information that we are sharing. Here, I would like to say that it is not an easy task to introduce the group discussion topic unless and until we are very confident about the information that we have about the topic, we should uh, refrain ourselves from initiating the group discussion. We should wait for someone to introduce the group discussion who has a much better knowledge than us. Because if we go wrong somewhere, uh, there is a possibility that we may not be selected for the next round. So therefore, it is important that we be uh, absolutely sure about the topic. Uh, and therefore, a thought should be given before initiating the or introduction initiating or introducing the GD topic. So having said this, I would like now to take you to the next uh, topic that is the technique of introducing a GD topic. So when a GD topic is given to us, the first thing we should do is we should introduce ourselves if we want to become the initiator of the group discussion topic. Secondly, we should understand the topic. So understanding the topic means, you know, looking at the topic from various perspectives or developing a perspectives uh, from about the topic. So if we have developed the per different perspectives, then we can definitely have an idea that which perspective we have more points and accordingly uh, we actually start you know giving our opinion from that perspective so before understanding the topic it is necessary that we identify the keyword of the topic so once the topic is given we have to pick up the keyword and from the keyword we have to develop our perspectives so uh, we need to first have a thorough knowledge of the keyword that is a lot of uh, adequate information about the keyword before we st start developing our perspectives. Uh, next is we present the topic in a unique manner. And uh, this can be done if we start with a quote or if we give a factual information or we uh, even put forward a question or we can have a combination of these three things or we can uh, include a uh, factual information and we can also have a question uh, thereby making it more interesting. So this question will actually put a thought into the mind of the group, other group members and they will start thinking in that particular direction. So this is uh, in a way, you know, trying to help help the other group members to think in a particular di direction as well as, you know, they can think, you know, from a different direction as well. So having said this, now let us move on uh, to the various examples. So first example I have for you here is India should legalize surrogacy. So the key word from this topic is surrogacy. Now surrogacy is a term that most of the people may not be familiar with. So therefore it is the duty of the leader or the initiator of the group discussion uh, to you know, like give information or to give an explanation about what is surrogacy so that all the members can be a part of the discussion. So here I can say like this, the surrogacy is an arrangement whereby women agrees to deliver on behalf of another couple or person who will become the child's parent after birth. So then I come up with a factual information which is put forward in the form of a question do you know that 25,000 children are born every year in India through surrogacy so in this way I'm trying to put a thought into the mind of the other group members at the same time 
I am uh, coming forward with a rhetorical question to which I will also give the answer. So I can talk about uh, that uh, how Indian people have changed their mindset and instead of uh, women you know, not able to bear a child, uh, the women are uh, also getting the opportunity or people are becoming more broad-minded and they're also getting the opportunity uh, to have children um, through surrogacy. So having said this, I can come forward with my opinion and thus you know, um, encourage the other members to be a part of the group discussion. Now, the next example I have for you here is uh, related to soft skills. Um, that is, soft skills matter more than technical skills. Now, here there are two uh, key words, that is, soft skills and technical skills. So I can assume that uh, more or less people have a fair idea of what are soft skills and technical skills. So therefore, I can start the group discussion in this manner. I can begin with a quote. So a quote, quotation from Shiv Kera I have taken. So people who wish to go into the future should have two skills to succeed, the ability to deal with people and the ability to sell. So even if people do not understand the meaning of soft skills uh, from the quotation, itself it is very clear that what is the meaning of soft skills that is the ability to deal with people and build a better understanding build a better rapport and of course build relationship in the process and also the ability to sell that is have the adequate knowledge about the product so that you can sell that to the customers so this way I can continue with my opinion and thus encourage the others to also be a part of the discussion that the third example I have for you here is related to uh, should we do away with capital punishment? Now, again, you know, capital punishment is the key word and uh, the capital punishment is a word that may not be familiar to all. So therefore, I will begin like this, also known as death penalty. Capital punishment is executed after an offender is sentenced to death by conviction of law. So then again, I begin with the question, do you know that only 30 countries carry out executions? And then I can go ahead by saying uh, that India also carries out ex executions, but not as frequently as some other countries, for example, the Middle East countries. So um, then I can go ahead uh, by saying uh, that capital the punishment is obviously, you know, it's uh, it, we should not do away with capital punishment because there are so many grievous crimes or heinous crimes, you know, that is uh, that we come across or that we often read in the newspapers. So there should be capital punishment because uh, it is, uh, in a way, trying to tell the uh, people, the criminals, um, that uh, they cannot get away from it so in india also follows the same system that only when uh, the crime is you know um very uh, very difficult to believe or very difficult to even digest those kind of crimes you know they are criminals are given capital punishment so again i would like to um, others to be a part of the discussion so i'll motivate and encourage everybody to come forward with their ideas and to express their views about capital punishment whether it should be abolished or whether it should be removed from the system so having said this I hope you have understood on how to introduce the GD topic. With this, I would like to thank all of you for your patient listening.